running is a little harder than people may think. Just to push your body to the limit, day after day, workout after workout, is a challenge. The winning part will take care of itself, but I want them to be able to understand how they can fight and work through things and focus and concentrate and challenge themselves through running. Once they accomplish those things, they can handle anything in life. First group, let's go. Ready, go. Coach G's been the best teacher I've had in high school. And he doesn't even have a classroom. Soon as you hit, come up. Yeah. OK? OK. I just know that he's my biggest supporter outside of my family. There's no one in my life that I feel supports me more. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's it. The balance of like kindness and discipline is amazing, and I, I really don't know how he does it. We can talk about district and regional championships. We can talk about the one state championship in the last 40 years that his team brought to George C. Marshall High School. But again, I think it's really the caring that he has with the kids that has made the greatest impact. All right, let's come in, come in, come in. Me coaching was something that I always wanted to do, to help kids have the opportunity to run in college. All right, ready, go. The first thing that struck me was just how much he loved coaching. All the way through. Just the energy, the enthusiasm the guy has, it's, it really is contagious. Hey buddy, how's school going? You, you, ready, for your first, you ready for your first class? I'm Andy Holt, father of Ashley and Heather. I'm Donna Holt. I'm the mother of Ashley and Heather Holt, twin girls. Coach G sat us down and said, mm -hmm. your girls are good runners, and if they want to go to school, I'm going to help them get to the school they want to go to. But it was the state race their freshman year. Heather won it, and Ashley was literally right behind her and fell over like a tree and passed out. We had the ambulance, everything, and she was rushed to the hospital. That was kind of the beginning of some signs that there was something wrong. Hey, can you discuss any thoughts about um, your eating disorder? I think I just put a lot of pressure on myself. So I think like that was the way that I coped with like the anxiety and the stress and the pressure of like always wanting to perform well. The night before we decided to put Ashley into an eating disorder treatment facility, which was one of the toughest decisions we ever made, she was really not happy with that decision and she didn't want to go and coach G sat with her and talked to her and got her really to accept the help. When it's something that serious sometimes they don't know how to talk about it or who to go to. Your parents are always there but sometimes you don't want to talk about it with your parents or you ignore it and with me I don't ignore stuff if I see something wrong I'm going to talk to you about it so that you're not dealing with it by yourself. And what I did to try to help her is take control of the situation and tell her have her trust me as far as her training, as far as when supporting her eating habits or even with the academics, just be her mentor. And once she realized that I was all in on her being the best she can be in every area, it helped her to relax. At the time, like I was really mad at him, but if he wasn't hard enough to tell me, I don't care if you're cleared by the doctors, you have to be making sure you're eating at home, listening to your parents. And I remember at the time, I was so mad at him. I was like, oh my God, I hate this. Like, why won't he just let me run? But if I kept going on the path that I was going, then like I would be sitting here. I do believe Coach G was meant to be in our lives. He means so much to me. I wouldn't be where I am today without him. I wouldn't be running for a, a D1 school. To me, his life is his message. He really lives it. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think his runners are his family. Last one, best one. Ready, go, come on. When I found out I was nominated, I was shocked, first of all, I was like, what? Wow. I just feel the things I did just it was just a natural thing that I like to do day to day for my athletes. 
I know when he got off the phone about being nominated for this, he was crying. He is a part of helping kids do something that's lifelong. I'm their coach, and I'm just guiding them. It's not one-sided. It's like the kids respect me, and I respect them. When they dedicate themselves, and they're doing the workouts hard, they're showing up every day, I look at them as my heroes. And I think just being nominated is a win for me.